click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the classification of the carbohydrates on the basis of the solubility model. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the classification of the carbohydrates on the basis of the reducing nature. So this is what I am going to talk about that is reducing sugars and not reducing sugars. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, here I am going to talk about that is reducing and non-reducing sugars. So let me talk about the first one that is reducing sugars. So in that case, we should understand that is the carbohydrates which reduce filling solution and tolerance region are referred to as reducing sugars. We understand that is for filling solution and tolerance region, these are the regions that are being used so as to detect a particular aldehyde group is present there or not. So in that case, similarly here basically the reducing sugars, they play a very vital role and they would decide whether that sugar can reduce the filling solution or whether the sugar can reduce the tolerance region. So based on that, let me give you a small explanation that why and how does this sugars they show positive test for the filling solution and the tolerance region. So friends, talking about the sugars like glucose, if you talk about glucose, if you talk about fructose, so these are known as the monosaccharide as we know, but they are divided into two different categories. That is, this is known as polyhydroxy aldehyde, which consists of C double bond OH group, while this is known as fructose, it is known as polyhydroxy keto group, which consists of C double bond O group. And the both of them consist of a common functional group that is carbonyl. So in this case, basically we understand that is because of the carbonyl group that has been associated with the other carbon atoms and which are being present in glucose and fructose like mosaccharides. So they have the ability to reduce the phallic solution and the total region. We understand that is the aldehydes are the one that gives a positive test, but it has been found that is the glucose, not only glucose, but fructose also gives the positive test for the phallic solution and the total region. So that indicates that it depends upon the carbonyl group that has been associated with glucose and fructose. But now let me talk about the next one that is non-reducing sugars. So now let me talk about non-reducing sugars. So the carbohydrates which do not reduce the filling solution and toleans reagent are referred as non-reducing sugars. So in the previous example that is what we have discussed that is fructose and that is glucose they have the ability to reduce filling solution and toleans reagent because they consist of free carbonyl group that is C double bond group. But in non-reducing sugars there is no availability of a free C double bond or a carbonyl group and that's the reason they are not showing a positive filling solution test or they are not showing a positive that is tolerance region test. So let me give you an example. For example, if I am talking about sucrose, we must understand that is sucrose is a molecule that is formed because of the glucose and fructose or we could say that is on hydrolysis of sucrose we could get that is glucose as well as fructose. So if glucose and fructose, if they are giving a positive test for the filling solution and the tolerance region, then why sucrose is not giving a positive test and why it is being considered to be non reducing sugar? The reason behind that is whenever a sucrose is being formed because of the fructose and glucose, so in that case basically the free carbonyl groups are associated with each other and that is how basically there is non-availability of the free carbonyl group and that's the reason it doesn't give a positive test for the filling solution and the tolerance region and that's the reason this sucrose is considered to be non reducing sugar. So again, this was another classification that we have described about the carbohydrates based on the reducing power for the tolerance region and the filling solution. And that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea about this classification also and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.